So, I say to myself, what am I angry about? Well, I'm angry that it took me praying and going through a lot to know that our government and our churches are a mess. And they've done a criminal thing to mankind. Worldwide needs to repent. You know, we talk about obeying the commandments, stopping divorce, stopping crime, stopping murder. Many Americans, almost as much as half, if not more, do not know what fornication and adultery is. Jesus said, if you love me, don't commit adultery. If you want to go to heaven, don't commit adultery. Adultery is when you're married, get divorced, and marry someone else. Many people did not consult with God. Churches did not consult with God. I hear, I hear pastors and priests even saying, you people, certain people should have never been married. They should have never been married. Well, now that you know that, did anybody pray with them when they did get married? Did anybody hear from the Lord they weren't meant to be married? Now we have a problem. Somebody killed somebody's husband or wife. The government needs to repent. The churches need to repent. All of them are wrong. I lived in a mansion and I prayed and I suffered many things to learn this. Okay? I didn't even know what adultery was till I was in my late 20s. The devil was attacking me horrible because I tried to bring this information to the White House because the White House was trying to figure out how to stop divorce. Okay? And the government is to be involved with this. It's not inheritance. It's not people that are just whores or sexually immoral. You have many broken-hearted people that gave up on love. They don't even know if it exists anymore. Why? They're screwed up from brokenheartedness. A spouse that cheated with them. What? A spouse that never was supposed to be with them? We should be educating our children and our nation what adultery is all over the place. Obamacare. Boy, we expose that. We better expose how to get married to avoid adultery. We better do a national day of prayer to ask God to forgive us for being idiots. They want to put these things in, in the newspaper. Lobby, they have court and snack. Who cares? There's a judgment day. We've got to care about souls. I got to hear people say, I should have never married him. He cheated on me. I should have never married him. He drank. Where was his priest to tell him drunkenness was a sin? Where was the priest to tell him God doesn't like yellow puppet and Dr. Guineas and Elvis Presley? The nun, I mean a girl who was in Hollywood, who kissed Elvis Presley after that kiss, became a cloister nun. She was a, she converted. Okay. The Pope is trying to figure things out. Things are a mess. What church is doing right? None of them. I'm probably the best one in the in the nation. Sure, I suffered affliction and went through a lot. But I found out valuable information and I did the right thing trying to take it to the White House. And people were trying to block it. Some people. But the government, overall, is glad. And it's going to come out. And I will out to Billy Graham with a prayer veil. Billy Graham didn't teach on that stuff. Billy Graham didn't teach keep the Sabbath holy. Billy Graham didn't say we should wear our prayer veils.